Hello, today we're going to look at how we can quickly design a wood joist using clear calcs. So we're going to start, we're going to create a new calculation. You can see we're using the United States standards. We're going to pick a wood beam using allowable strength design, and we're going to pick our floor joist preset. So we're going to let this all load up. And once this is loaded, you can see it's going to be very quick to change things. So we can close the details thing. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to change our length. Let's say in this case, our length is actually 18 feet. So that's our span length for our joist. Next, we're going to go look at our loads. So in this case, we've got a floor load, start and end location. So this load is applied over the entire length of the joist. And we can look at our tributary width. You can see there's a formula here. That means we're looking at the project default. However, we can change that. Maybe we want 24 inch on center for these joists. So we can do this. And here we can set our loads. You can see this also can be modified by the project defaults. In this case, let's change it to 50 PSF live load. We're looking at this. Now we can see that our joist isn't passing. So that's a two by 10 Douglas fir number one. It doesn't pass. So let's go look at different sections we can use. So let's click on the blue filter icon. That's gonna open up the member selector. So first thing we can do here, we have our little filters. If we wanna stay with dimension lumber, we can go maybe to a two by 12. Let's see what happens if we select it. And if we wanna stay with Douglas fir, we can select Douglas fir and we can see two by 12 is not good enough. Maybe two by 14. And with a two by 14 structural select, we're good. However, that's starting to be a pretty deep beam. So we can also go look at perhaps eye joist. So let's go here and select an eye joist. And let's limit ourselves in this case to Weyerhaeuser. If you look here, we'll find that what we need is an 11 and 7 8 TJI 560. So we basically get to stay under 12 inches for our joist. We select it and we can see that all our percentages are under 100%, which means that our joist is passing. And with that, we've designed our joist.